What is up guys, how are you all today? And today I have a pretty interesting video for you because a lot of you are starting up YouTube channels, etc. I feel like I'm at the point where I can start telling you guys what equipment I'm using and I'm not using my phone anymore, of course, and how I'm recording, for example, my VR gameplays, my VR audio, etc. Because of course VR is a big part of this channel and I feel like a lot of you might want to know that. Also, I apologize for any background noise. I don't know if there is any background noise. I'm only going to find that out in post. My 3D printer is printing. I'm just printing a bunch of these hive shelves for myself uh, because I am running out of space to put things. Just before this video begins, a quick message from our sponsor. Honey, a lot of you have heard about it and a lot of you might actually already be using it. But just in case you're not, let me tell you about it. Honey is a browser extension that is aimed at helping you save money. You can install it on all your favorite browsers, including Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Opera. If it's a browser, it probably has Honey. You buy stuff online, right? You like saving money, right? I mean, I'd hope you do. Honey sits in your browser extensions, and every time you're on a website and want to buy something, it scours and searches the internet for the best coupon codes for you, helping you save money every time you buy. Check this out. So let's say I wanted to get myself a brand new laptop. Once I click on Honey, you can see it already says 1-8% to rewards activated. What does this mean? Well, this means you're going to get Honey Gold back, and Honey Gold can be later on exchanged for coupons, meaning not only you save with your coupon on the website, you also get cash back. That's amazing. Let's proceed to check out. And as you can see, Honey instantly shows up and checks for our coupons. So let's let it check for coupons and see if it finds anything that we can use. Look at this. How amazing is that? We just saved $20 for free because that's what Honey is. Honey is exactly free and it just saved us money. So the only reason not to install Honey is if you don't like money. So head on down to the description and start saving money with Honey today. So yesterday we did our very first live stream. So thank you to everybody who could actually join that, who joined that, who had fun with us, talked in chat. Of course, I couldn't see chat. I need to figure a few things out. Let's start moving out on to the actual equipment. Anybody that has been subscribed to this channel for any amount of time knows that my audio is my number one thing. I think audio is equally as important as video and therefore we have this microphone here you guys know i went through a lot of different microphones first of all i had a label microphone that i just bought on amazon for like 16 pounds now we have this razor siren x here this right here is a razor siren x with just a generic foam thingy up here on top but yeah that's the razor siren x right there this is a pop filter that i just got from amazon again just good pop filter pop filter is very important. I found that out because sometimes your mouth makes sounds and you don't necessarily want those sounds to be caught in the audio every single time. Now, my main recording camera is the Lumix G7. Now, that is the Panasonic Lumix G7. It always records at 4K 30. Now, of course, if you're just starting off, you don't need to be recording in 4K. Trust me. This is just something that I found out over the course of time. I want to be recording in 4K. I want to be able to zoom in, not lose in on quality. And I don't necessarily need more than 30 FPS in this room setting. Now, a lot of you actually have been telling me on the Discord to improve my lighting. Uh, the problem with lighting is this room is tiny. I was going to get actual light boxes and just stand them up right here because this part of me is getting lit up pretty well. This part of me isn't. The problem with that is this room is tiny and I don't even think a light box would fit in here. So maybe this will help. This may or may not be better or worse. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll find out in post. And then on top of the Lumix G7 is where we would normally have the Rode Video Micro. The Rode Video Micro is what I use when I'm vlogging, when I'm just walking around. That is my main microphone when I'm holding the camera in front of myself like this, because this thing is great for when you are up close. It doesn't catch much background noise. Your voice is very crisp and very clean. So that would be my main microphone for that. Now, apart from that, of course, I have this one here when I'm sitting at the table. And I now have this. And if you guys haven't seen the video about this, I certainly think you should go check it out. This is the Comica Boom X microphone, or microphones actually is what I should be saying, because they are wireless microphones that you can clip on to the back of your pants right here. And then they have a label microphone up top. This is great for VR, and I will explain that in just a second, because for VR gameplay, and when I was live streaming yesterday, we have the Antlion Mod Mic. This 
is an incredible little microphone. And you guys have seen my video about this. I have seen that a lot of you are buying this through the affiliate links. I'm sure you're very happy with this. This is a great microphone for when you want to just clip it onto your Oculus Quest, clip it onto your Rift S, do some live streaming, do some video recording, anything like that. Or in case you just want a microphone to clip onto your headset while you're gaming. Great microphone for that. Now, going back to VR for this, let me explain to you why this is so great. As I said, it's a kit. It comes with two microphones. What I do is I have one on the back here clipped down to my back, and then of course I use SideQuest to stream to my PC whenever I'm recording with the Quest to record the gameplay. Now of course there's a problem with that because that doesn't record audio, but this is where this comes in. There is a second transmitter and they both connect to the same receiver. So what I do is I take this aux cable here, connect it to one of the transmitters and then get an audio splitter. So for my headphones and for this, and I connect it to the Quest right here. And now the audio from the Quest is going to my headphones and it's also going to this transmitter right here, which is sending it to the receiver and therefore the audio is actually getting recorded. This is also why when I walk off camera, you guys don't lose out on noise or anything because I always have one of these connected. So the audio always stays at the same level, which is great because that means we don't lose out on quality. It's also why you could hear me yesterday when I was going to make my coffee and I was all the way downstairs. Where's my coffee? Oh. Forgot it. Forgot my coffee downstairs. Come with me, coffee. Ha! Almost forgot my coffee. So let me show you exactly how that would work. I'm going to turn on the Oculus Quest right now, and you guys are going to hear the audio from it. So I'm going to power on the transmitter right here, and I am going to power on the Oculus Quest. I need to keep it away from this microphone because it causes interference. And I'm going to stay silent. And I can see that the transmitter is jumping up and down, meaning it is 100% definitely transmitting audio. So as you can see there, this is how audio would normally be recorded, except I would also normally have a splitter connected here and then have headphones plugged into that. And it's pretty much the best way, as I said, I have found for recording audio. But yeah, and as you can see, for gaming where I don't need the audio for let's say when I'm streaming using virtual desktop, this little blob here on the front is meant for the Antline mod mic. And I feel like it's very important to show the Oculus side of this, the VR side of this, because again, a lot of you want to do VR, you're very interested in how to stream audio. This is definitely the best solution I have found for audio. There is very little to no latency on this. And I tend to just clip it onto the side right here and it just kind of stays like that and just stays there for the entirety of the gameplay. And then of course you have the bonus part of having lavalier microphones. Now moving on to my actual setup of video recording. So my PC isn't necessarily anything special. It's a third gen Ryzen 3600X. That is okay for video editing in 4K. The real beast in my computer is the 5700 XT from AMD. Yes, I'm an AMD guy. And that is what I do VR on. That is mostly what I'll be using for virtual desktop streaming, etc. It's pretty much everything I need for live streaming, recording, editing, anything. It's perfectly fine. So that's kind of my editing setup. Because this room is so small, my camera is... It's standing on my chair. Like, I have a spare chair and it's just standing on my chair. That kind of shows you that you really don't need much to begin. And it's not that I don't have much, because I have a tripod. I do have a tripod, and it's what I was using in Poland the entire time. But this room is just so tiny that the camera is literally just standing on top of my chair. And what I'm using for that is it just has a little handle from the Xeon Smooth 4, which is kind of retired back there. It's kind of sad, to be honest. I should probably be using that thing. That shows you really don't need much. It's just kind of standing on top of a chair. That's my video. This is my audio. Those are the two most important factors of recording, of course, 
but then of course you also have the entertainment side because you need to be entertaining. So if you guys are planning on starting up a channel, make sure you're doing what you love, make sure you're smiling to the audience, make sure you're showing them that you are speaking with passion. That's what I have found. If you're speaking about something you don't enjoy, well, the audience is going to see that and they're not going to enjoy it either. And I know I've said this in a previous video and I've made a very similar video previously, but now that I've got my audio upgraded, now that I have all this equipment, I felt like I needed to make another one. A lot of people were asking me exactly what I use, how I record the Quest's audio, etc. This is exactly how I do that. There we go. That's pretty much how I record my videos, how I record my audio. Audio is very important, guys. Don't forget the audio. And uh, how I record the audio from the Quest, because I know a lot of you are having problems with recording audio from the Quest. There is free applications, like I think Miracast or something like that, or Allcast. I don't really remember what it's called. I never used it. There was too much latency on that for me, which is interesting, because I don't have latency on virtual desktop. But this is the way I do it. And if you guys haven't seen the video on these little microphones make sure to check that out in the description but yeah that is going to be it for today's video and i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to give it a like if you guys have any questions as to the equipment i use how i use it or what you could buy it let's say if you're on a budget comment down in the description below i'm going to do my best to help you out with that and yeah if you guys like the video make sure to give it a like if you guys dislike it i guess this button works too but please tell me why down in the comment section below if you guys want to be notified of future content if you guys want to join this community there's a discord link down in the description below we have a lovely community on discord and we also have a reddit make sure to join that reddit i want to see you guys posting your spicy memes on that reddit and remember if you guys want to be notified of future content make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next one peace